Hi guys, Creative Lori here. If you're new to my channel, I'm a home stager and I want to share with you today my spring Easter kitchen tour. Now I know that I did a spring tour with the uh, DIY Mommy um, as part of a challenge, but I did switch things up a bit after St. Patrick's Day. So I wanted to show you guys that um, Easter is in a week. I can't wait. Anyways, guys, let's start over here um, in my coffee area. So um, right over there is my laundry room, which you guys saw um, when I did a DIY closet challenge. I use my laundry area as a closet, so that's why I redid that, but I'm still working on it. So over here, um, as you guys saw, I did like a little uh, DIY. The bottom container is from the Dollar Tree, and the top container is from the 99 cent store that had three little galvanized buckets um, on top of it for $1.99. Um, I just DIY'd it, uh, put them together, and I'll show you the video. I'll link it after at the end of the video. Um, and then I put some 99 cent store flowers. They're the chartreuse, which I love, and the darker chartreuse. And I left the top blank for now. And then over here, it kind of matches my brand new um, coffee bar. And as I mentioned before, I kind of like how this keeps all my coffee um, attire next to my coffee pot. So it keeps it all contained. Um, I got it at Ross for $14.99. And um, I really love it because I love galvanized metal. I think the galvanized metal looks nicely against my taupe walls and then the cherry wood mahogany stained cabinets. Um, and then I put... Um, my mason jars down here, which you guys saw me haul these probably before Christmas time. I bought a bunch of them and they're just little owls and I think they're so sweet. They were only a dollar. Sorry guys, I still have paint on my hands. It didn't all come off from the other night, last night. So this is some cane sugar. I love that it's um, unrefined or it's refined, but not as refined as regular white sugar. And I get that also from the 99 cent store. Okay. And I just have a little chalk tag on there. This is sugar. I need to get a better chalk pen or something because um, it doesn't look as neat as it could. Anyways, I have my green tea. I have um, my sugar, my coffee. I have some marshmallows back there, which I will replace with my hibiscus tea. In fact, I think I'm going to do that now. All right, guys, sorry for the delay. Um, I did put the hibiscus tea in here because I do talk about it a lot, and it's something that I use all the time. It's really healthy for you guys. And I just had that marshmallow container in there left over from my cocoa bar, so I need to get that out of there anyways. Uh-oh, excuse me. So I'm getting a little low, and I like that I can see better um, what I have on hand. I don't typically use sugar for anything really. Um, I just keep it here for when I bake, but I like how it looks in the owl jar. So it is front and center. And so now I can see that, okay, I am a little low on my hibiscus. That's all that I have. So I need to go buy some more in bulk. I do have some chocolate shavings back here for when I have guests so that if we decide to make um, a, an espresso, like a mocha or something, I have that. Back there I have some garbanzo beans, some multi beans, black beans, and different beans. And then on this side I have some almonds and walnuts, I think, and some cranberries and blueberries um, as a mixture. I'm getting a little low, so I like having these out um, like I did before the holidays because I can see what I'm getting low on rather it just being in my pantry. So... On the top, I have my little thrifted find. Um, this is a creamer container that I got, and it was from Crate and Barrel. And um, I think it was 99 cents. I do have a good, very good friend. She used to be a tenant of mine, and she comes to visit often. She loves half and half. So when she does come, I will be putting half and half in there, refrigerating it, and then we'll keep it out once we wake up and start making coffee. 
Then I have my sweet little, <laughs> these are so cute, you guys, um, cow and pig uh, salt and pepper shaker. These were 69 cents at the Goodwill. I just think they're cute. They look a little farmhousey, the white, and that they're farm animals against the, um, they kind of look like they're in a little corral, which I kind of like. And then the little pig I put in like a Dollar Tree sugar packet container. So sweet. And then I have my new sign back there from the Dollar Tree. I need coffee. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> Which I just poured myself a cup finally. Um, and I'm using coconut milk in it. I make really dark coffee and then sometimes I'll use coconut milk. That's my coffee machine. No, I don't have a Keurig. I'm not sure that I will. I rather like having a coffee pot. And then this one has an espresso machine attached to it with a nice stem there on the left for frothing my cappuccino, um, my, like my uh, coconut milk or cashew milk. And it's nice having that for when guests come over. Um, when I decide to really treat myself, I'll get this one particular machine. It costs like $500. So that's a ways away. Um, and then I have my little Ikea I need to move that up. It's kind of like in the way, but it's an easy access for everyone to grab scissors and paper clips and what have you. And they just are magnets to the fridge. So that's it for this. I'm loving my new little, new little coffee bar section. And I love that sign. I'm so glad I found it last night. Love it. And I love that little container uh, with the beautiful flowers on it peonies. I think it really sets it off. Okay, so we're moving. Oh, I guess I'll show you this up here too. So I have a little chicken wire um, basket up there and I put one of my 99 cent store rabbits that had a bunch of flowers, if you guys remember, and I just plucked those flowers off and then that's like a chicken egg basket. I had a lot of my fake eggs in there, but I've used them in a lot of my displays. So hopefully after Easter, if they're still there, I'll buy a bunch. And then that's a cake platter, um, vintage one from my mom. I'm not sure where she got it, at, but I inherited it at some point. And now that she's passed, I really cherish it. So anything that she had, I really love. Um, let's go over here to my one corner to the right of my oven. So I just have my toaster and I have a little cutting block here. And then I have, um, because you know I live with tenants, I have little paper napkins back there for them. And then a bunch of my fake eggs. And then a little pottery barn. It's actually a soap dish, but it looks like a little nest. And then I put my Target uh, wood eggs in there. And then that's my 99 cent store um, vase that I got for 99 cents. And then those lilacs I got from the Dollar Tree. And I put some other faux little greenery in there and I wrapped it with burlap. And then that's my stove over here. I've changed this just slightly. So I have my cutlery um, container here, you guys saw. Um, I keep my cutlery out for the tenants um, and they can just grab whatever they need. And I have a rolling pin and cutting board back there. Excuse me, just drink some coffee. <laughs> so before, when I showed you guys this little rabbit, I had him with like the little cabbage uh, coming out, but I only had two cabbage leaves, so I put that on the table instead. So I put the fern, and I like it. It looks really cute with the moss um, rocks, which are from Dollar Tree, as well as the bucket. And this is my little area here. I have another... Um, butcher block it matches the other one on that corner and so um, it's perfect because on this tile it actually acts like a lazy Susan and so um, I just have my thrifted little wood bowl with my 99 cent store greenery pom-pom 
Um, I have this, it's glass, and then it has like a burlap sleeve over it with the fleur-de-lis, and I put my utensils in it. I've used that so many times, guys, for staging that I feel like I can't use it anymore because it's been in so many pictures, so it's retired to my house. <laughs> um, and then I have my doll or Target dollar spot little pail with the green uh, lip, and that was three dollars. And then some of my thrifted uh, wood finds in there. And then over here I have um, some wooden cutting boards that I got from the thrift store as well. Um, I don't actually use them. I'm afraid to. So I have uh, plastic ones that I use that are antimicrobial. <laughs> I'm such a germaphobe, you guys. You should see me when I cook. Because I even have animals, it makes it worse. So... <laughs> But um, I keep them in the cabinet down here, and then I wash them before I use them, too. So, yes, I know. I'm a weirdo. But I have recently found out that my one cat likes to get into my cabinets, so I'm glad that I have made that a habit because, you know, that's disgusting <laughs> so yeah I've added a little bit of color I mean I know you guys are thinking what she put some teal over there but yes I did this is my coffee bar right here let me show you um I have recently found out that it's actually from uh Ikea and I think it's thirty dollars twenty nine ninety nine um, so if any of you are interested, and I did get mine at the thrift store for $6.18, but if you want one of these, I have tried finding something better, and this one just really works for me. So I'm really happy with it. I think the reason why someone um, donated it was because it did have a leaning problem. I'm still working on it. I can't find JB Weld. Um, so I can make it straight and you know steady but um, anyways I have basically decorated this just for Easter it's just to add a major pop of color it's nothing like I normally do except for Valentine's Day I feel like I had a lot of color in here on Valentine's Day but it's just for a week guys and to match my little um, DIY apothecary jars which I'll also link at the end of the video so I just had some raffia um, grass that I had purchased. My dad got for me, I don't know, probably five years ago and I never used it. So I found it and I twirled it to make like rolling grass. And if you see any look, like little poking strings, that's because my cat has been playing with it. So I just have my 99 cent store rabbit that says Happy Easter. Um, a free little ceramic egg back there. This was a part of a two-piece sign from the Dollar Tree. I really love the little chicks. And that it says, Happy or Easter Blessings. And then I have, um, oh, my little Target Dollar Spot pedestal back there, the white one, with, I don't know if you can see it, my little cabbage. It's a candy dish with a rabbit on it. My mom got it for me years ago. And I've held on to it like I do everything else. <laughs> there it is. And I put moss in it with some Target eggs. And then I also put um, some LED lights that I got from Target. Uh, I think on their 75% off sale. So they were like $2.50. And they're nice. They're by GE. So they look more like fairy lights. So I carried the grass up to this second tier. And I put my little 99 cent store um pallet wood little bunny um picture up there and i really like him i put some lilacs faux lilacs it's just two little pieces that were originally on that um bunny wreath that i put there and i have my dollar tree copper mugs which work awesome they keep things really cold and then i have up here my 99 cent store bunny um trinket tray or a candy dish whatever you want to call it and then I have my Dollar Tree um, little salt and pepper shakers but I am gonna put uh, at some point you know nutmeg and cinnamon in them I like that in my coffee 
And then those are my copper mugs that I think are supposed to have glass inserts. These are just the sleeves. Anyways, I got those at the thrift store. Um, and then I got that little sweet bunny from the 99 cent store. They had other colors and I just like the white and I put a target egg in there. And that's pretty much it. Um, over here, I just have my cloche, which I will show you. Um, I did change how I put my soap. Um, sorry guys. The rest of my house is really messy. So <laughs> I did get this from the 99 cent store and I really like it. It's just a mason jar for my hand wash. And then that's my dish soap. And I had this on a pedestal, but it was, I was afraid that it was going to fall over with my cat. So I just used my little um, piggy cutting board that I got from the thrift store. I'm still working on that. I'm going to still see. And I need another one of these for my dish soap. Over here, I have my little cloche, as you guys saw, which I'm going to show you guys all of my cloches. And sorry for the glare, but um, that is it. And then you guys saw this three-tiered tray that I'm thinking of returning. I got that at Ross. But that is it, guys. I That's my lemon tree out there that produces so many, many lemons. Um, that is my kitchen. I only have one thing up there, and that's just to prevent my cats from jumping up there. I don't really care for things up on the cabinet tree. And that's my coffee cup that I left over here. All right, guys, so tell me what you think. Do you like my new coffee bar? Um, I really like it. I think it keeps things nice and neat. I've seen them so many times on YouTube and people using them, and I didn't like them before, but now I can see why people do use them. <laughs> so it keeps things well organized and neat, and I like that. So... Thank you guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I will talk to you all later. Bye.